Oh my God, the talent of these people in this show. It is unbelievable. The training, the years of dedication and sacrifice they had to do to get here. All I had to do was be born missing a chromosome. Because <laughs> it's cool. Vegas is so weird. You have somebody dressed for prom and somebody dressed for fishing, and they're on the same show. Growing up was my dream to perform in America, because my dream was to be a rapper, right? And I know it's going well, because people laugh at it when I tell them it's my dream. Thank you very much, sir. You. How would you describe Mad Apple to those who have no idea what uh, the show is? It is the craziest night in New York that you could possibly have, and we brought it to Vegas. Like, we have every possible form of entertainment uh, under the Cirque name, and a few things that have never been under the Cirque name before. Well, it's Cirque du Soleil for ADD people. If you don't like an act, wait five seconds, there will be a new and different one. Uh, there's a freestyle rapper in the show. I won't tell you who that is. Which might make you go, what? No, you need to go see that. Because we've got people risking their lives. Then you've got me, a British man, saying he's going to rap in front of 1,200 people. That should be the, the nerve-shredding tension that you require to come see a show. Freestyle off the dome, no rap battle here at the grand opening. A mad up where you can stop, pause, no time to think on the carpet. The color of the rug is pink. I'm gonna cut a rug like I'm dancing, taking all the words with your hands and giving the chance. And you got a little thing right behind me, mad apple. That's the name, and you remind me. Last thing we're closing, we say it here. Have fun, why? Because it's the premiere. Uh, it's pretty wild. Cirque du Soleil has never had comedians before, so it's an honor both to be one of the first comedians in a Cirque show and the first magician they've enjoyed working with. Uh, and it really does feel authentic to New York City. I mean, obviously, a Cirque crazy Vegas version of it, but yeah, it's got everything and uh, I think people are going to really lo love it. There's a party from the second you walk in. There's bars on stage. You get, it's the only structure where you can go on stage before the show even starts. And then once the thing goes, it goes off like a rocket. Well, this is definitely the funniest show in Las Vegas right now. That's the big thing. It's bloody funny. You're going to laugh until you can't breathe. And that's really what we wanted to do. It's a big party. So you laugh, you see crazy stuff, you see magic, you see crazy circus acts, you hear a great band. It's kind of like the greatest night out you could ever have in New York. Yes, I sort of explained it like a modern day Studio 54. The music is so fantastic. People are going to know the tunes, sing and dance along. It's just a great night out. We pulled amazing culture from New York City, fashion, sports, music, comedy, wrapped into an amazing production. People are just going to come and have a great night out. You know, I think it's a whole new entry point into Cirque for us. Comedic headliners, mainstream music, and a whole new form of hospitality that we haven't done in any of other shows. So I think it's going to appeal to the core Cirque fan, but it's going to offer something new to that next generation.